We've all seen PowerPoint slide decks, but did you know that the app can be used for much more? It can! You can use PowerPoint to create finished designs like posters that you can print out. Thanks to powerful drag and drop features, PowerPoint is a great design tool. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to quickly make great posters with PowerPoint PPT templates. PowerPoint templates help you build amazing posters fast, and the best place to find them is Envato Elements. Elements is a creative powerhouse with a winning offer, unlimited downloads. For a low monthly rate, you can download and use as many PPT poster templates as you want. And that isn't all. Elements also offers stock photos, music, fonts, and more. These are all digital assets that you can use to enhance any project. For this tutorial, I'll demonstrate using the PPTX infographics template from Envato Elements. This is a stylish design that's easy to adapt into a poster. I have it downloaded and open in PowerPoint here, and I'll scroll through some of the slides. Notice how flexible the designs are. They don't sacrifice design style, but offer plenty of room for details. Let's use slide 25 here in the deck to build a poster. As you can see, this one is a timeline infographic. Infographics are the perfect visuals to use on a poster. Remember, you're trying to capture attention, often from people who may be walking by. It's essential to have eye-catching graphics to grab their focus. Infographics that illustrate ideas do exactly that. First up, you'll need to choose a size for your poster. When you think of how to make a poster in PowerPoint, be sure to follow typical sizes. Posters usually follow a standard size. Academic posters are 36 by 48 inches, movie posters are 24 by 36, and average posters for everyday use are 18 by 24 inches. For this example, we'll demonstrate an average poster. To change the size of your template, find the Design tab up here on the ribbon. Click on it and you'll see this Slide Size button over here on the right side. Click on its drop-down arrow and then choose the Page Setup option here at the bottom. On the Page Setup menu, we'll use these Width and Height options to add in the custom poster size. When you've entered your desired size, click OK. On the pop-up here, click Scale and then Watch as PowerPoint will resize and rescale the poster to the new size. Now it's time to start adding in your content. Most posters are heavily focused on text elements. You need to tell your entire story on one page, in this case, on the face of your poster. Be careful with font sizing. Notice that many parts of the slide design are shrunk down now that you've resized the layout. Enlarge some of the text boxes, then click into them and start adding your own text. Headers like this should be larger and feature eye-catching headlines that grab attention. Try and pack in as much information as you can without being too wordy. Keep in mind, text needs to be scannable. It should be readable by someone who is moving and capture their focus so that they'll stop and read on. Now is also a perfect time to revisit the unbeatable Envato Elements offer. As a member, you have unlimited access to thousands of custom fonts. These are elegant designs that you won't find anywhere else and they'll help your next poster design stand out. When you think of how to make a poster in PowerPoint, don't forget to embrace custom fonts from Elements. Browse the vast library and join today. Back on the poster, let's add an image. Using images effectively is a crucial part of building a successful poster. To add one, I'll browse to an image file stored on my computer. Then I'll drag and drop it right onto the slide as you're seeing me do here. Once it's imported, I'll pull on the corners here to resize it down to fit perfectly. Then I can move it around by clicking and dragging as you're watching now. Remember that what isn't on the poster is important too. The last thing you want is a messy cluttered design. It pays to leave plenty of open space. This is really breathing room for your design. It helps your content stand out and grab attention. Random layouts with too much content packed onto them are confusing and difficult to read. Last but not least, it's time to share your finished poster. It's a good idea to save it in PDF format. That makes it easy to print and easier to share, even with those who may not have PowerPoint installed on their computers. To save your PPT poster as a PDF, find the file dropdown here in the top left corner. Choose Save As and you'll see this dialog box open up. Name your file by typing it in here and then choose PDF from the file format dropdown. When you're ready, click save and you're all done. You've just learned how to make a poster in PowerPoint. As you can see, it's amazingly easy and you can build stylish designs in a flash. That's all thanks to premium PPT template designs from Envato Elements. Built by experts, these help you make the very best posters in moments. Go ahead and explore the vast library of template options. Then choose your favorites and download them today. Before you go, don't forget to like this video. Then subscribe to our Envato Tuts Plus YouTube channel. There you'll find more tutorials just like this one. Plus, you'll enjoy content roundups, courses, and so much more. I'm Andrew Childress for Envato Tuts Plus, and thanks for joining me.